Hey guys, this is MB from OnDrogChance.com and welcome back to my MLB betting model projections, uh, analysis and of course picks or bets if you like for today, Tuesday. Uh, those are my betting analyses uh, from uh, for baseball games. Uh, I calculate my own winning percentages, then I turn into the odds and then I compare with pinnacle odds. Uh, and if there is enough discrepancy, then this is a qualified bet. Uh, so far this season, uh, 125 wins, 95 losses, plus 26.93 units of profit, which means that uh, Dime Betters made uh, 27,000 uh, American dollars in just two months. Uh, yesterday I went 1 1. It was a losing day, uh, minus 0 0.93 units, or if we round it uh, around minus one unit so far, okay? Uh, as you see, I have a mic today. Uh, I always have a mic, but I usually don't like to have it in front of my face. Uh, but maybe it will be a little bit better sound, so you will uh, hear me a little bit better. Uh, and uh, yesterday I had Texas. Uh, first five inning, it was a winning bet. I had uh, Baltimore. It was a losing bet. And I also mentioned Angels yesterday, but I didn't uh, took them later because... Uh, how I bet? I simply analyze my own games in the morning and then I don't go against the line, okay? I, I, I don't uh, sit the uh, whole day in front of computer. Some people ask me, what if the line goes up and you can get a better line? Why, why you don't speculate with the lines? Yes, there are more ways how to win a sports betting, okay? For me, at this stage of my life, it is also important that uh, sports betting is part of my life, okay? I don't want to sit in front of computer whole day. I don't want to watch games. I don't check the results. Uh, I simply want to make units. I simply build systems and betting models based on numbers and probabilities. Uh, and then I uh, calculate my own projections and then I compare with the odds okay I try to bet early so I can beat the closing line and if I would speculate uh, with the odds later uh, I would uh, be uh, around 70% of times wrong uh, this season I'm sitting at around 68.37% beating the line so uh, around 70% of times 70-75% of times the lines goes down after my analysis and uh, my bet speaks if you like and uh, uh, if I would speculate and if I would wait for better line I would be probably wrong in 70% of times so this wouldn't be a smart idea okay so if you bet on a sport on a league um, especially big leagues and if you beat the line you want to bet a little bit earlier uh, you don't want to bet uh, at closing lines, okay? Uh, and this is also very important because uh, closing lines at Pinnacle are one of the most efficient ones. And no matter if you build a system or betting model for other sports, it is always recommended that you track your own uh, odds against closing Pinnacle odds. This way you will see if your sports betting makes sense. Uh, and uh, this is something I try to do as well, okay? Uh, and as, as I mentioned many times, uh, right now, I, this year I will be 43. For me, it is also important that sports betting uh, brings me joy in my life, uh, build better life, improve my life, uh, that sports betting is a tool uh, for building wealth, not just for gambling, not just for making pigs videos or something like that, okay? Not just for fun. Uh, sports betting uh, uh, requires some time. Uh, you need to put some effort and you want to benefit from it uh, as well, monetary and also um, from other aspects of life, okay? Uh, but for the last couple of days, I'm not sleeping that well, uh, so I need to fix this. So for less last four three, four days. I'm not sleeping that well. I have this aura ring. I don't know if uh, you're aware of this. this. So this is one ring that tracks sleeping. And for the last couple of days, I am not doing well. So I will try to fix this uh, uh, in next day. So I will uh, go to sleep earlier. Uh, and uh, I will put the link below uh, for this uh, aura ring. It is not affiliate link, uh, but I think you can save uh, some, uh, some money if you buy through the link. I think I can share five links with friends, so I will put the, the link so you can check it. But this is one of the best tools I I, I got from uh, for last, I don't know, three, four years I use it, or maybe three years, probably three years, uh, I use Aura Ring. 
uh, and it tracks me, uh, my sleep and my readiness. Okay. And this is also very important. When I sleep well, I, I, I am more productive. I'm happier. I, I, I feel better. Okay. And this is very, very important. Okay. And when it comes to sports betting, I also think that, uh, we should build systems, um, betting malls that will save us a lot of time okay so when you have a betting mall you can easily take into account a lot of numbers um, and the betting mall will calculate your winning probabilities and i'm following betting malls uh, since i started betting not not just from the first year but once i started studying water science we had a lot of modeling there uh, about the water systems and then i uh, implemented some of simple ideas into sports betting and then i started thinking uh, through numbers and then i knew that i need to build systems i need to build betting malls if i want to win in the long run i i cannot just guess win uh, i cannot just guess picks or bets right so i was studying water science and we used uh, most of the time excel um, and we were doing modeling uh for floods and for rivers and so on and i saw how powerful this is and then i started doing my own stuff and i knew that, that this is uh great but once you build it once you test it it doesn't need to be a complex sometimes uh, simple betting models are doing better than complex ones but uh once you learn the concepts, you can bet anything. You can bet baseball. I see great results from our members on esports, some other sports. But um, too many people are focusing on picks and bets instead of focusing on how to build their own betting, own unique betting systems and betting models. So then they can they can uh, bet for years and uh, add some money into their life. Uh, through betting right because if you rely on others i don't know if this is working in the long run uh, anyway let's go to today's projections and picks uh, texas detroit based on my projections uh this is close to be even game bookmakers have detroit as a small underdog so there is small value with detroit but based on my criteria this is my criteria uh, there is still a, not enough value, okay? So I simply project my own odds. Those are my own odds. Those are bookmakers' odds. And if there is a not enough big discrepancy based on my uh, formula, then I see the number. And if this number is one or bigger, then this is a qualified bet, okay? Maybe I could add two columns more so we could see what is the latest line we should still take. So maybe I could take Detroit at 130, but... Uh, I don't have at 130. Maybe you live in some other country and uh, you have some better odds. Uh, of course, uh, this this would be maybe nice information because uh, all my betting malls always go against pinnacle odds, okay? So if you bet on any sport, I all, always recommend track your bets against uh, pinnacle closing odds because pinnacle closing odds are arguably... arguably the best uh, and most efficient odds uh, on the planet they are the sharpest one and if you can beat pinnacle odds uh you know that you're doing something well okay because if you go to odds portal or some other site that uh, compare bookmakers lines you can see there is a lot of uh, unknown bookmakers that have great odds but they are you know they are a little bit uh, shitty and you can have a lot of problems there uh, but as I said, if you can beat Pinnacle Odds, because Pinnacle Odds, for example, they don't have the odds yet for Tampa Bay Race and Chicago Cups, okay? There are some other bookmakers that have uh, the odds for this uh, game, but later this will change, okay? So uh, always track your bets against Pinnacle Odds, okay? Uh the next game, San Diego Padres against Miami Marlins. This is my first qualified bet today. So we have Ryan Wetters against Sandy Alcantara, right-handed pitcher against lefty. Uh, my betting mall gives 61.53% of chance to Miami, minus 160. My line, bookmakers, minus 128. And Miami Marlins, this is my first qualified bet. Uh Miami at 1.78 at one unit, and I also have Miami first five inning at uh, 1.72 for one unit, okay? And as you see, I also have Baltimore and Toronto, but let's check the probabilities. Uh, 
Cleveland, Baltimore, Quantrill against Gibson, two right-handed pitchers. I have Baltimore at minus 190, bookmakers minus 143. And because of that, Baltimore is uh, 1.5 unit bet, okay? But you also need to understand that we use different bookmakers, okay? And some people, I don't know, they will have Baltimore at 1.8. Some people will have Baltimore at 1.5. And, you know, then you need to change the units, okay? You need to have my formula, okay? My formula, if you want to bet like me, okay? You, you, you Because most a lot of people are just focusing what to bet. What is the team to bet? What is the team to bet today is the is useless information, okay? You need to have probabilities. This is the same for everyone. Then you need to have your bookmakers odds because maybe you live in Canada, maybe you live in USA, maybe you live in France, maybe you live in Russia, maybe you live in, I don't know, China, Australia. We all have different odds. And the value is always a combination of my projected line, this is the same, your bookmakers line, okay? And then the value, which is, which comes from my unique formula, okay? It is not only about Baltimore team. Maybe they will win, maybe they will lose. Maybe they will win for me, maybe they will lose for you. But uh, when we make 300 bets or 500 bets, these small differences will be a difference, okay? Because... Sometimes you will have a value, sometimes I will have a value, so, and, and, and so on, okay? It is always about getting the edge, having the edge against your bookmaker, not against, I don't know, some other bookmaker, right? Uh, and Baltimore is a qualified bet at 1.70, this is decimal odds, at 1.5 unit, okay? If you get lower odds, then it is a probably a little bit lower unit. If you can get better odds, then unit should be a little bit higher, okay? Toronto against Milwaukee. Adam Hauser, Kikuchi, right-handed against lefty. Uh, I have Toronto at minus 186, minus 147. Uh, and I have Toronto at 1.25 units. And the odds, 1.68. Then we have Cincinnati, Boston. I will skip this game. I have league average number here because the pitcher is not qualified for my uh, betting spreadsheet. Philadelphia, New York Mets. My numbers and bookmakers numbers are basically the same. As you see, I have uh, Philadelphia at plus 128, bookmakers plus, 120, uh, plus 124. And this is not qualified. Kansas City, Royals, Zach Greinke, Miles Mikola, still right-handed pitchers. Uh, and uh, also, again, uh, my numbers and bookmakers' numbers are very similar. Then we have Tampa Bay Rays, Chicago Cubs. Pinnacle still, still don't have the odds, uh, but those are my projected odds. And, of course, if later, maybe in three, four, five hours, uh, Chicago Cubs' uh, odds will be opened, uh, this could be a value. If, of course, the pitchers are the same, the lineups are the same, because bookmakers are waiting a little bit more. So there will be probably some changes in the lineup or in the pitcher. So I need to change because this betting model takes into account the pitchers and also uh, the lineups, every single player. And uh, then maybe I will reproject the line. And then if I will take Chicago Cubs, I will put below in the comment, okay? But I will definitely not take them uh, at the closing odds, okay? So in the last uh, minute of before the game, I will not take them. But if we can get the lines open in next hours, then I I, I'm, I'm, I will maybe take them as well, okay? Minnesota, Houston, Joe Ryan, Brandon Bielak, two right-handed pitchers. This is for me even game. Bookmakers have Minnesota as a small favorite, but this is not qualified bet. Uh, Angels against White Sox, Tyler Anderson, Giolito. Uh, I have Chicago White Sox at minus 145. Bookmakers minus 133. Not qualified. Maybe small value with White Sox, but um, this is not uh, a qualified bet. I need I need to have a little bit bigger difference, okay? New York Yankees, Seattle, Nestor Cortez, Logan Gilbert. 
Based on my projections, Seattle should be at minus 173 or in decimal odds 1.58. Uh, right now at 1.70, bookmakers odds have them at 1.70. Uh, I was a little bit late. I could get them at 1.75, 76. Uh, that would be even better. But even at 1.70, it is still qualified bet. So Seattle at 1.7, uh, one unit. So, but below that, if the odds drop to 1.65, uh, I think this will uh, go out of the zone. So it will not be a qualified bet anymore. Colorado, Arizona, Kyle Freeland, Zach Gallen. Uh, I have uh, Arizona at minus 209. Also, bookmakers had them as a huge favorite, so I skipped this game. Atlanta, Oakland. Uh, I have Atlanta at minus uh, 206. Bookmakers, minus 256. So, Oakland is a little bit underrated, but this is completely normal. Uh, but, of course, not qualified, not even close to be qualified, okay? Pittsburgh, San Francisco, Giants. I skipped this game and Washington. So I didn't make a mistake today. I have Jake Irvin. Uh, I lost three units this season because I put the wrong pitcher. I put three times Cole Irvin and Washington lost three times. So my record should be 30,000 uh, uh, or plus 30 units uh, of profit this season. But of course, this is my personal mistake. It is not a mistake from betting mall. Okay, this is very important to mention. It is not a mistake from betting mall. But I don't know. I simply uh miss I, I i simply mistype uh, a pitcher but if you have my betting mall if you learn my way of betting of course you can make your own projections and you, you don't need to make the same mistake okay uh but today i put the the correct pitcher jay Irvin against tony gonsol in two right-handed pitchers uh and uh, there is not enough value okay so if we make a quick summary uh Miami first uh, Miami first five inning Miami full game money line Baltimore full game money line Toronto full game money line and Seattle full game money line okay those things that I said so Seattle full game money line this is the stupidest information I can give you okay but because you you watch the video you also see the numbers because nobody should ever 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 release a peak without saying the team without saying projected probability without saying the odds without saying the unit and why everything else is just bs okay because miami money line can be 1.5 or minus 300 miami money line can be plus 200 okay and when the odds are different then we should also take different units and the probabilities how much units to take and all those details are important in the long run. Those small details will make a difference between losing gamblers and winning betters. Okay? So never take any advice from anyone who will tell you, take Baltimore money line because this is, uh, this is uh, not good information. Okay? It should always be Baltimore projected probability uh projected odds of course which is the same uh bookmakers odds and the units then you have all the information you need you know which team to bet how uh, uh how much chances or probability they have in this game what is what is the market price that you are offering and what is the unit size you are recommending based on current market price and the probabilities calculated by you okay everything else is just you know everything else is just entertainment on youtube on social media on betting forums and this is why bookmakers are getting richer and richer because people have fun with picking winners right and picking winners never bring any success in the long run in sports betting okay uh, i even believe that not i i even believe but after 20 years uh, i'm i'm pretty sure uh, and i as i said I don't want to talk in absolute truth. I, I, I try to say, I think I need to put in my mouth uh, uh, more times. I think, because I think, okay? I think that if you want to win at sports betting, uh, the best way is to find your own unique way uh, of betting. Includes include sports betting into your life, into your lifestyle, 
and how you can do this only by learning the skill uh, so you can create your own unique style, okay? This is what I think, okay? And with this, I will finish this video. Uh, I wish you all the success today. If you will tell these bets, uh, I hope you, I hope we win some, okay? And see you tomorrow.